afternoon um, down on the farm this weekend. Great weather. As you can see it's beautiful. Here we go. Ah, wonderful. So I'm just standing in the trees so I don't squint while I'm talking to you. So grass, again, another popular topic at this time of year. Um, we're actually about 21 days behind where we would normally be in the season for grass growth, which in turn then means we're about 21 days short of feed for the cows. That means we've got to ration it more closely um, and do more supplementary feeding. So that is more hay and silage. But we obviously need, we calculate the amount of feed that we have for an entire year. So we are having to wind back how much we feed them at the moment, which in turn means that we are producing um, slightly less milk than we would do normally. So anyway, I've come out to a paddock. We put up electric fence lines between the paddocks so we can section them off. Um, tonight the cows are getting the remaining half of paddocks eight and nine and you'll see if I just turn it around there you can just see how close a line they actually then graze all the way down there. So I'm gonna I've started to take down this fence line here with some star pickets. I'm going to run some star pickets which ultimately are metal poles with hoops on the top down the other length of the paddock um, and then I'll be able to plug in the electric and let the cows out here later. Afternoon, quite a different day's weather here today, Sunday in comparison to yesterday. So when I came out with you yesterday in the paddock, I was telling you about the electric fencing that I was putting up and the grass and how we were managing the paddocks at the moment. So when we talk about grass or when we ultimately talk about pastures in livestock enterprises within agriculture, we're focused on two types of vegetation. So we talk about broadleaf weeds and we talk about our grasses. So we know which grasses are better, that is in terms of their sugar content, their leafy matter and those kind of things. And the broadleaf weeds are exactly as it says, they're broadleaf and they're weeds that we don't want them. When we talk about their biological components, a broadleaf weed is a dicotyledon and a grass is a monocotyledon. So that's to do with how many stems they, take, they stick out of the seed when they start to germinate. It also gives reference to how they continue to develop. So when we're talking about grasses and the application of fertilizers, maybe some um, minimum tillage work on the pastures, we also look at the growth stage that that grass is at, whether or not it's two leaf, four leaf, three nodes, or what have you. In cereals, that's a really important thing to talk about because at certain nodes of the life cycle in cereals, they then start to put out their seed heads or their pods, which are then full of obviously weeds barley and so forth. Um, one of the things you can do at certain times of the year, normally end of end of autumn, maybe beginning, yeah, end of autumn, beginning of spring, depending on what your um, pasture management system is like, you can do additional things to make the grass produce more leaf matter. And one of those things is rolling. If you roll grass at a certain the leaf stage cycle normally around the two or four leaf cycle what you do is when you bend when you roll over the top of the grass and you flatten it what you do is you break this part here and that encourages the plant to put out another tiller by adding more tillers the, the plant puts out more leaf matter per squared meter per plant mass so it's one of the things that we can do here where we are on the farm we've got very heavy country so that is it's got lots of clay and it's very it holds water so if we go over that with a set of rolls at the wrong time of year what we'll do is we'll sink and the grass won't be strong enough to spring back up again from the pressure that we've applied to push it back down so it's not something that a lot of people do here in England we have things called ring rolls which basically look like a load of donuts on a stick which means you can apply different levels of pressure across the ring rolls whereas one big solid roller obviously flattens that that's just how it is so we've managed to do a few paddocks here in the last couple of weeks but the rains are about to come in again so we won't be doing much probably for another couple of weeks the reason why we're 21 days short with grass is that we've seeded some paddocks three times and the seeds just have not germinated it seems to be something that the district is suffering with at the moment so that'll be a mix of temperature wetness all those kind of things and who knows mother nature's just kicking in and saying i'm not growing anything at the moment 
so that's why we're so tight um, on forage the cows aren't being underfed for their maintenance or anything like that they're not hungry it just means that they're not producing as much milk as they could be because they're not being fed as though they were sports cars um, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell it's really windy here today um, not as nice as it was yesterday when I was doing the video for you but um, so I'm off to the dairy catch us